Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. My amendment today would give small biotech companies additional incentive to research, develop, and market life-saving drugs for patients. Okay. Last year, the Congress passed the IRA. Um, by those who voted for it, it's a well-meaning bill with the intention of reducing the cost of prescription drugs for Americans, a goal which both parties share. But both parties also share the import that recognize the importance of small biotech companies. In the IRA, small biotech companies were exempt from drug negotiation for three years. However, even with that three-year exemption, there's concern that the IRA risks closing off the innovation that has been at the forefront of many of the clinical breakthroughs in the pharmaceutical sector. Small biotech companies continue to have an environment with less interest from outside capital for investment, longer and more complex clinical trials, and the potential for reduced revenues from Part D sales. And why is this important? Small biotech develops the new mostly, most, most innovative drug. According to a 2022 ICTHIA study, small biotech companies are developing nearly 4,000 drugs, approximately 65% of the total drug development pipeline, representing a growth of 165% since 2011. And it's not just that they're developing drugs. It is drugs and things like cancer, neurology, infectious disease vaccines that are the crying needs for our medical community, for our patients. In cancer alone, there's 608 small biotech companies focused solely on oncology, many with only a single molecule being developed. The risk of failure for these companies is high. Even those that are successful are seeing a higher cost to develop as therapies are more complex. Now, for these, once the product is successfully introduced, access to Medicare Part D is critical. Um, a recent reports suggest that 20, over 22% of the revenue um, these companies rely on Medicare for over 22% of the revenue compared to 14% for larger companies. My amendment provides additional support to these companies working to develop cutting-edge therapeutics. It allows a small biotech firm, which has spent a certain average percentage of its revenue on R&D over a three-year period, the opportunity to delay entry into the Part D negotiation program for one year. This amendment would continue to provide support for those small companies as they bring these important therapeutics to market. Now, I recognize that this amendment is not germane to the underlying bill, so withdrawal, but I hope I'm making the point that this is an issue and hoping I can work with colleagues to move forward legislation like this to help these small companies doing great things for Medicare beneficiaries. With that, I yield. Thank, thank you.